Welcome back. So it is officially winter here in Dubai. It is quite cold. I'm having my tea. I'm wearing my cardigan. It is around 15 degrees. I know that's not very cold to some of you living in Europe, US, Canada. I know that, but for here, this part of the world, this is cold. We are not used to it and our homes aren't prepared, so we don't have means of making the home warmer you only have to rely on this blankets and tea and things like that but anyway i thought i would sit down and share with you my favorite sunscreens to use during winter if you know me you know i'm obsessed with sunscreens and i have a lot in my collection and i do rotate between all of them but i definitely have preferences for different seasons and typically in winter i like to use something that has a better formulation maybe slightly more moisturizing but that is also spf 30 and not 50 because that tends to be the case usually the lower the spf the better the formulation and then the higher the spf the not so good formulation if you know what i mean so i don't mind wearing spf 30 in the winter and this is when i tend to pull out all my spf 30 sunscreens and use them and really enjoy them i also want to say that i like something that gives me a glow and not really mattifying in winter i know that's to some people it's like the opposite they want something that's glowy in the summer but where i live the weather on its own will make you glowy oily shiny i know there's a difference but to me in summer i want something that is mattifying and in winter i want it to be glowy anyway this is what i will be doing in today's video i have a mix of drugstore and high-end also mainly mineral but i do have a chemical option so let's go ahead and get into today's video <music> i purchased this from starbucks i really like starbucks drinkware and it is really high quality like it keeps the tea really hot for a long time but what i don't like about it is that the the painting started to chip off right here around the rim and that's not common i mean i've owned so many from starbucks in the past that didn't do this yeah i'm kind of bummed about that but anyway Let's talk about the first sunscreen and it is by the brand Dr. Dennis Gross. We are starting with one that is expensive. It is the All Physical Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I know I said that I would use something that is SPF 30 in winter, but this is an exception just like some others I will share with you because the formulation is so good. I can literally use it anytime throughout the year. This is, as it says, it is all physical, so it's 100% mineral sunscreen. But what I love about this is it has no cast. Like on my skin tone, this has no cast whatsoever. And it always baffles me, like where does the cast go? Because it's not tinted. Let me show you. You can see it really looks like a lotion. I can see a little bit of a cast on camera, but actually in real life, it doesn't show. Yeah, I can definitely see the cast now, but in real life, yeah, it is kind of disappearing. It is super moisturizing. It does have a little bit of like a citrusy scent, but it feels so good on the skin. You can see it's a little bit shiny because it is very moisturizing. And this is why I love using this in winter because it is super moisturizing for my skin, which is normal. This is enough moisture, so I can skip my moisturizer when I use this. But if you've got a very dry skin, of course, I always suggest you go in with your moisturizer. But if you've got the money and you don't mind spending this much on a sunscreen, this I think will be a great one. Let me share something that is more affordable. And this one is SPF 30. It is the Eutherin Daily Protection face lotion and sunscreen SPF 30. This is a face lotion. So it is going to give you moisture, but it's also going to give you an SPF 30. This is not 100% mineral. This is a hybrid sunscreen. It uses mineral and chemical filters. I got mine off of iHerb, super quick shipping, amazing. I have a discount code. I will leave it in my description box. It's a great option 
super affordable you get four fluid ounces four fluid ounces for i think less than ten dollars doesn't get better than this it's got amazing packaging great pump this is what it looks like i removed a little bit of that because that was too much for my hand it does have a slight white cast i would say a little bit of a white cast nothing too crazy and it does disappear into the skin as it starts to absorb but of course as i always say i can't speak for deeper skin tones i am really sorry but i cannot make any assumptions that it works or it doesn't because i have seen some videos on youtube where a sunscreen literally has zero cast on me and a person with a deeper skin tone tries it out and it's all like grayish on their skin tone so I don't want to recommend anything that's not going to look good on you. I would always suggest you look up creators here on YouTube that have a deeper skin tone. So yeah, you can see it all, it's almost gone. It is so moisturizing. I love it. It's moisturizing without being oily. It is SPF 30. It is not water resistant. For that reason, I wouldn't typically use this in the summer. I'm more comfortable using it in winter. And this is when I'm going to pull it out and use it because I love how it feels, I love how it sits under makeup. I have a full review on this, you can check it out if you want to know more. Let's talk about one that is chemical sunscreen, but it's going to give you a really nice glow without making you oily. It is the one that's a serum, SPF 45 by the brand Hello Sunday. This got a lot of hype in 2021, and rightfully so. It is a very nice one. It is like a serum and it gives a beautiful glow on the skin. This is what the bottle looks like. It's 100% chemical sunscreen. You don't get a lot of product, so it's not really a drugstore price when you compare the amount you get with the price you pay, but it's still okay, not terribly expensive. This is what it looks like. It comes out like a serum. This is very hydrating. So again, another reason for it to be great for winter it does add a little bit of hydration while giving you quite a high protection, SPF 45, and it will still give you a glow. You can see that glow. And that glow doesn't disappear as it dries down. So this is something I really like about it. And it does tend to seep through light coverage foundation. And this is when I wear this. I wear it under light coverage foundation. It does give me a really healthy glow to my skin. So now that this has dried down, you can still see the glow. Yeah, I really like this glow. It doesn't make you look oily. It gives you that healthy, glowy look. Let's talk about my favorite sunscreen for 2021. I did mention this in so many of my sunscreen videos. It is the Murad City Skin Age Defense SPF 50. This is a broad spectrum, all mineral sunscreen. It does have a peachy tint and I think I definitely think that maybe on deeper skin tones it will leave a little bit of a cast it looks good under makeup it is heavily moisturizing that is why i like it i think it's very moisturizing at least for my skin which is normal this is what it looks like this is the peachy tint i'm talking about and yeah it's not super casty so it's not like the most awful physical sunscreen no it's not oh my god I can't get over how moisturizing this feels. This really feels so good. It also feels very soothing on the skin. I can wear it around my eyes without any issues. I just love the sunscreen. It is my favorite for a reason. It is pricey though, so that is something to bear in mind. I do have one affordable option coming up and that's going to be the Pi Pet Broad Spectrum Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. This is such a really good option. It is fragrance free and it uses non-nano zinc oxide as its sole filter and it uses it at 20%. It is SPF 50, but it's not water resistant. But what I like about this is that, again, it's a mineral sunscreen, minimal white cast, at least on my skin, it's got squalling in it. So that's going to give a little bit of moisture if you've got a very dry skin, I have seen that some people claim that this dries them out, so maybe this is not the best option for you, but if you've got normal to oily skin, this might be a really nice addition for winter. This is what it looks like. Again, not very casty. It does have a little bit of a cast. Maybe I should apply a little bit more so you can see the cast. Mm. 
yeah you can see a little bit of a cut you get a very generous amount for the price you pay everybody can use this at home so if you're a mom you can use this on your kids as well not just on yourself i find this to be a very nice base under makeup for me but again I did see some comments saying that this drives them out. I think because of zinc oxide. Zinc oxide sometimes can be drying depending on the formulation and depending on your skin. So if you know zinc oxide dries you out, this is probably going to be drying. But I would say go in with your regular moisturizer, maybe use a hyaluronic acid under it or any type of a hydrating essence and then try it out and hopefully it will work for you. If you have tried pipette and you liked what it looked like, but it was too drying for you. I would say trying the Biosans Sheer Mineral Sunscreen would be a must because honestly, they are very similar in texture, very similar in formulation. Just this one is a lot dewier, a lot more moisturizing than the Pipette one. They are both from the same parent company. So probably that's why the formulation is very similar, but this one is more dewy. I initially, when I reviewed both, I said that I liked this more because this one made me look quite greasy or oily. But right now in winter, I came to appreciate it more because my skin is leaning a little bit more dry than usual. And I actually picked it up from Cop Beauty recently. I made an order and I purchased the full size because I really like it now in winter. It does give me a glow, but it also gives me good moisture and I feel like I don't need to go in with a moisturizer when I use this. And since it is SPF 30, then it is good protection for me in winter and not summer. I have only one more product to share with you and this is a new discovery to me. I have purchased this a while back, I would say like six months ago, maybe a little bit more but I never got around using it. It is the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. Again, this is an all mineral sunscreen and it does say here normal to oily and combination skin. But I think if you've got dry skin, you might be able to pull this off if you were to moisturize well under it. What I love about it is it's very emollient. So when you put it on the skin, it glides on really nicely. It does have a grayish tint that masks the white cast quite well. I'm very impressed with that. You can see there's almost like no white cast. It dries down matte. So not like fully matte, like dead matte, no. But it does have a semi-matte finish, I would say. And I'm thinking that is what's making them say that this is suitable for oily or combination skin. But yeah, it has amazing ingredients in it. It's got antioxidants and resveratrol which are amazing for the skin. This is such a good one, and honestly, I don't know why I didn't try it before, even though I did hear that a lot of people like it. This has definitely creeped up into like my top five sunscreens of all time. I haven't been using it for a long time. Only at the beginning of January, I cracked into it, but I'm really, really liking it, and I find myself reaching for it every single day. The only thing that sucks about this is that it's SPF 30 and not water resistant. So again, I cannot use this in the summer in my climate, but yeah, I would be using it now in winter. Those were all my recommendations for sunscreens for winter. And yes, you do need to wear your sunscreen in winter. Please do so even if you're sitting inside and it's cloudy outside, you still need to wear your sunscreen. And it doesn't have to be terrible. You can wear SPF 30 that has a nice formulation, one of the ones that I mentioned to you or any one that you like. At the end of the day, the best sunscreen for you is the one that you are comfortable to wear and use on a daily basis. That was it for today's video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you got something out of this. I hope these recommendations will work for you if you were to try any of them. Let me know what is your favorite winter sunscreen in the comments below. I would love to know and I would love to try them all. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so and I shall see you in my next one. Bye guys.